Hey everyone, I am going to show you how I uh, recently made my uh, Plagnets. I combined a couple ideas from Joey Fife and uh, Jason Leach. So I wanted to just give a quick tutorial on how I made mine. Um, uh, excited about them, so hopefully you can find it useful. I'm making this in pages, is what I'm using. So I'm simply inserting a shape, picked a circle. Now, I do not want, I want my circle to be two inches by two inches. So on the side here, I can simply modify it until it says two inches. Because these are that is the size wooden disc I have to use by two inches. Okay, so I have my two inches by two inches circle here. All right, I do not want to, actually I do want to fill mine, but I want to fill it with a different color I, uh, my my first color has been red, and I like to put a border around mine. So I go to border, and I like this second one, not too super thick. Okay, so now I need to add a second circle into mine. So I want to go ahead and pick another circle. Okay, this circle is going to be white, so I want to fill it with white and I want to also have a border around it. So this just happens to kind of fit perfectly here. So I have my color ring around my center. I have a white center because with mine it seems to scan better uh, than having a colored background around the uh, plickers code. So that's why mine is white and I have my color, my red color also signal will be signified by the number one. Uh, my numbers one through five are the same color, six through 10 are the same color, kind of like following the colors of the rainbow. So once I have that, uh, make sure you periodically save your work. I have a screenshot of a QR, or a, sorry, a QR, a Plagnet uh, Plickers code, excuse me, Plickers code here. So I simply drag it onto the screen, modify the size, and I can drop it right on there. So I'm simply layering images on top of each other. I do not want text wrap. Okay, so that will help me modify it a little bit easier. So I simply drag and make this a little bit bigger. So I would like to make this a little bit closer so we can all see what's going on a little bit more. Okay, so on my plickers, this top one is the letter B. Okay, that's the way that I, that I that I made my picture. So I want to insert some text, and I simply have the letter B. Okay, that's how big mine is. You can change the size, you can change the font, you can change, again, I do not want text wrap. Um, you can change the bold. So now I'm going to drag and put that right, right there, my letter B. So that way, when I do it for a Plickers question, uh, my students know which side is letter B. I'm also going to label the outsides with my uh, student-friendly language uh, descriptors. So I'm going to simply copy and paste that with uh, Command C and Command V. Now, this side over here is C, so I want to change that to a C, but I want to rotate it also. So I'm going to go to a range, and now down here I can change it, and I can rotate it or flip it how I want to. Okay, right there. So now it's not exactly what I want, so I'm going to change it and rotate it again. So, I apologize for that. So we're going to go 270 degrees here. So you just hit, hold down the arrow and it'll quickly rotate it. So now I can drag and drop right there. So now I continue to make my A, B, C and uh, D for my clickers. Okay, so I'm over here, I'm gonna put, that's A, this is D. So now I wanna completely rotate it upside down. 
So I'm going to go a complete 180. So I just hold down the arrow again. This is under the rotate, under the arrange portion on my text. And if you know a faster way than I do, by all means, go ahead and use that. Um, this has just been by simply through trial and error. So I have my D here. I'm going to put it right there underneath, hopefully line with my B. Now I need to rotate this one. Nope, wrong way. I'm going to go that way, 90 degrees. So we're going to go up to 90. So it seems to want to rotate counterclockwise. There's our 90. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop that right there. So we have our four lines. Now I happen to put a nice little uh, number, a nice little circle down here, which happens to also tell you um, the number on the plat on the plagnet. Like if you're assigned number one, number two, number three. So I am actually going to use. Going to make a little bit of a border, just like before, and I'm actually going to use. Um, color fill of green because that is the opposite of red on the color wheel so that is actually a little big so I want to make it a little bit smaller so it fits right there now I want to put a number on there so I want to insert my text again so I want to do the number one alright so I have my text box here You can always change the size, change the font, things like that, um, however you want to. So I want to bold it, and I want to make it number 9 font. So now I'm going to drag and drop right there, the old good old number 1. So you can see that right there now I have my I want to add my student friendly uh, language so my words are uh, for, for B here um, that is gonna be uh, got it maybe if you use a four three two one that's like a three um, if you use a mastery that would be like a mastery term and that's a mastery level so that's what I'm using sorry for my typing so that's what I'm using here. I'm using got it. Again, don't want text wrap. So I'm using my mass, my B as my mastery. That might be like a three. Okay. So now I simply can drag it right there on top. Again, I'm going to layer it on top. I want to actually make it a different color because I want it to stand out a little bit more, so I want it to go white. So I actually could go a little bit bigger. If I choose to do that, I have to make this box a little bit bigger. So there's my got it. Opposite of that, down here, is what I like to call the lowest level or starting. Okay. Some might call it a one. I know Joey Fife has his opposite, so people aren't thinking A, B, C, and D. But I have mine as the lowest level is starting. So then I simply need to change the angle again. I need to spin it around. The full 180 degrees. just like I did with the letters. Okay, so now I put it right, it's gonna put it right there, uh, a little bit higher. You know, you can play around with it, put it, where you, put it where you want to put it. Okay, so now I need to add my two other descriptors. So over here it is close. That's what I would call a three, um, a be just below mastery. Someone call that a three, maybe like a, like a two, if you're using a four, three, two, one kind of scale. Um, you know, you're you're close. You're almost there. 
but you're not quite to that mastery level yet. There's still a few errors um, that you need that you could improve upon. So I would put that there. Okay. And now I need to put it over here. My uh, highest level is I am calling that one just wow. Okay. Some of these terms are very are the same as Joey's. Some of them are a little bit different. Um, so, so that's what I'm just that's what I've chosen to use. Some kid friendly terms. Starting at the bottom level, then going up to close, then to got it, and then to wow. All right, there we're at ninety, and I'm simply going to place that over here. So obviously, make adjustments as you need to, so it looks nice and. Uh, even. So that is how I make my, uh, my that's how I've chosen to make my plagnets. So I would simply repeat that process, um, and cop copying and pasting, layering um, for as many plagnets as I would need to make. Hopefully you found this um, easy. Hopefully that you found it informational. Here is uh, my email. If you have any questions about this, here is my Twitter handle. If you have any questions about that, um, I do have a YouTube channel, which you uh, might be watching right now. If you don't know anything about it, it is Van Meter for on YouTube. So again, uh, again, this is Bar Jones. Hopefully you found this useful and we will talk to you soon.